Hey guys, welcome back to a new Boomich video. We have the Life Leech Crab here. I'm very stoked for this crab. Let's just jump right into it. I'm very excited today, and we might need it. Oh no, we don't spend any gold. That is good, because I have a, a thousand gold left. Very, very excited though. I wasn't expecting the crab, uh, but I should have known, because it is a, it's a Friday night and it's the end of the month and we have a great crab. Life leech crab is always one of the most fun crabs in the game. Like it's it's a blast, it's super easy to push because life leech is just so freaking overpowered. I think also there's a try boost for life leech. Uh, I think it's like scorchers or tanks or something. Let's go check that out. I'm not gonna be boosting it up, but it might be a good idea for you guys to boost up. I am not sure if the boost will stack though. So let's zoom out here. Yeah, Scorcher Life Leech is one of the options if you want. So I am unsure if the Mega Crab boost stacks with the Scorcher uh, boost from the tribes, but if it does, that is an insane combination. Bringing a few boats of Scorchers, a bunch of boats of Bombardiers or a couple tanks and then bombardiers. I would probably still stick with my, I mean, there's so many good combinations for Mega Crab when it's Life Leech. Uh, probably wouldn't want to go with a bombardier combination um, that uses heavies because the heavies, you know, they're not really gonna do a lot of damage, so the Life Leech isn't gonna help heal them up. Because Life Leech, if you guys don't know, basically the amount of damage you deal gives you HP back. So if it's a 25% Life Leech, you deal a thousand damage, and by you, I mean a troop deals a thousand damage, then you'll get back 250 health. So once you get up to like 100% troop life leech, it gets really, really interesting because you're able to just like wipe players out. But of course, uh, the damage defenses deal goes up over the course of Mega Crab. So, you know, it, it's still hard pushing, but it definitely is one of the easier, easier uh, events to push at easier mega crab events to push out so i really really like life leech i think it's such a good idea when boom beach brought out the idea of life leech it was amazing it's not something i was ever thinking boom beach would put out and i was very very stoked when they did bring out life leech i am using warriors and that's typically not a troop combination you want to bring during Mega Crab. The only reason I'm bringing it is because it's the first few levels and it's fine to bring a bad combination the first few levels. And also it's not really bad. Like stages 1 to 20 are all pretty easy. Obviously I'm not going to use warriors up to stage 20, but they're all pretty easy easy solos for me. Um, at least on my main account, I shouldn't say that because I haven't really gotten up that far on this account. But warriors are just fast. They're fast, they deal the job. When there's no shield generators, I'm just gonna roll with warriors. As soon as we start getting shield generators, we'll switch it up. We'll bring a different combination. But until then, I'm gonna rock with the warriors. I think it's a great combination to start out the Mega Crabs. I mean, if you guys want to get like be the be the most optimal i think bringing just all tanks plus a hero um pr plus bullet and then just drop i don't know why i dropped one smoke on the court that's not going to do anything and then just uh attacking dropping all your troops retreating or not retreating but closing out of the game force quitting the game then when you come back your troops are going to finish the battle that's how you want to go when you're doing Mega Crab, but if you're like me, where I'm not very confident in my tank stability, then definitely use Warriors for the first few stages because they're just very, very fast. All right, we're on stage eight, and we still don't have any shield generators, but that HP on the HQ is getting very, very beefy, and if I'm being honest, I'm a little nervous about over 200% HP. So, I'm hoping this won't be a loss, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Ooh, okay, let's get some med kits out. Oh yeah, we're, we are definitely fine. These are low level 
low level defenses they're not able to do much against me i lost like 10 warriors way way less than i thought i would lose but i think probably this or stage 10 we're gonna start seeing some shield generators not yet i think we'll still be fine the mines though are the biggest issue <laughs> dang it oh frick that's actually such a bad that is very, very unfortunate. I did not mean to drop two barrages. I meant to see what level the mine was, but I ended up dropping two barrages. The most unfortunate of events. Let's just save our energy here. I think I'll probably just hit them. We'll go up here a little. It seems like they're still pretty low. Okay, we flared to the core. Let's just protect this right side because I have a lot of warriors here and if I can just keep them alive, I think we'll be fine. Let's just release some critters, get us a little more energy, but from the looks of it, it was, we got it, we got it. It was pretty easy. Stage nine drops. Also, we are doing a giveaway on our Discord server. A link is down below. We're giving away, I think, some fan boxes. So Boom Beach sent us some boxes to give away to you guys. Go down below, join the server there's details on how to join we used to do these things all the time when we had more access to these boxes so there might be more in the future okay stage 10 let's do it probably we'll see shield generators yeah okay just like i said at stage 8 either stage 9 or stage 10 okay and we definitely cannot be bringing our warriors that's not the combination we should be bringing let's just bring bullet taunt and jump right back into it. Get my hero down, get my troops. I know I called this account low level, but you get Mega Crab very early in the game. And if you're trying to attack Mega Crab as like a truly low level, I'm talking like level 30, maybe even lower, it's tough. Uh, if I did give you some tips, one, you don't get a lot of loot period like for the amount of time you spend you don't really get much loot if at all so i would say only really do it if you're i mean definitely attack as far as you can but there's a point where you're just not going to be able to make much progress in which case i would just attack drop your troops exit out of the game if you have instant training and just cycle through those 40 attacks or even just attack and drop uh drop energy and then retreat like don't spend all weekend attacking stages 1 to 20 with your 40 attacks that just sucks but if you have time and you want to get a trophy that's how you would do it um, it takes a lot of effort and time to get through 40 attacks though like I understand I've never done it as a low level but as a high level, I pushed Mega Crab multiple times, lots and lots of times, and it takes six to eight hours of grinding, multiple full boosts of grinding just to defeat uh, or just to use all of my attacks. It's insane. It takes a lot of time, and that's constant attacking for that time. It's very tiring, so definitely only do it if you want trophies because the loot you get is very low. It's not very significant. All right. We're on stage 11. I think this probably will be my last stage. Uh, okay. I'm liking the setup of this base. We're gonna avoid all of those boom cannons, but I am gonna release some critters to just get us more energy. Also probably can take down those cannons. So really will give me a lot of energy. Um, gonna flare over I don't really want to deal with those boom cannons even though they're low level I'm trying to give you some some tips that you can apply if this is a higher or if this is a hard base for you you want to try to avoid defenses you want to flank tanks and energy drink are your biggest friend if you're a higher level if your energy drink is a higher level uh, that's one thing I kind of forgot about. My energy drink on this account, I think, is level 1. And honestly, I don't even know if it's worth bringing at level 1. 
but if you have a maxed out energy drink that would be best try to get that maxed out it's a very very important mega crab hero ability but i hope you all enjoyed the video please drop a like if you did and i hope you enjoyed the start of this mega crab um, let me know down below if you have any tips for lower level members uh, trying to attack Mega Crab. I think I got through a few. And uh, let's get an upgrade done with my very, very low amount of loot. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.